the attraction of Goodwood for you, Derek? Well, it's, for me, it's a very personal, selfish one in that my home, well, I was born well, not far away from here, and I've lived all my life about five miles away down on a farm. And I had my first race of my life here with my Lotus 7 in 1964, which I won in the, in the rain. And it's just my home track, you know, and then apart from that, wherever it would be, to have so many fantastic cars and people coming along would be wonderful. Yeah. What, what is this car like to drive up the hill, Derek? Well, I probably wish you'd asked me afterwards, but it hasn't been driven much since it did Le Mans. Okay. And uh, it is the long tail version. Uh, the tyres, they tell me, are 15 years old. Well, I'm looking, really looking forward to this drive. <laughs> you know, I just love the cars because they, they always did the right thing. You know, they, the engine worked, the brakes worked, and it was always responsive and you knew you had a chance to win. It's a big car to yes. be taken up yes. the hill, Derek. How close are you to the flint wall up there? I'd rather not know, and I'd rather <laughs> Porsche didn't know, but it, we get fairly close. When you're, you're together with the car and you've done a couple of runs, you feel more confident to give it some stick. So it'll, I'll be leaving the wall by you know, several inches, don't worry. <laughs> and on a personal note, Derek, what, what's your favourite Porsche to race? Um, it has to be, the, well, the 962, really. The most memorable was the 917, obviously, for what you know, for what it did and how outstanding it was in the 1971 season. Um, but I mean, in all honesty, you know, the 962 because we won after the 56. We then I won Le Mans, I think, three times or something with the 962, and I won three Daytonas, and I was world champion twice in the 962, and I won hell of a lot of races thanks to my teammates and great teams, of course. But. You know, it's just such a fantastic car, never really let you down. And looking at how they've progressed, how do these cars compare to modern Porsche race cars? Um, well, of course, you get in a modern GT2 car, a GT2 RS or something, and you go out and you go, wow, this is really rather good. And it probably goes around a small track just as quick as this, but he wouldn't go around Le Mans quick. This is the most wonderful high-speed circuit car, as you see it here. Absolutely. Well, Deli, it's a great privilege to chat to you, and we look forward to seeing you taking this up the hill. Thank you.